Hey everyone, welcome back to the sawmill. Today we're going to be doing part two of cutting up these alder logs. In the first video, we cut up the two small logs, found some amazing spalting inside. Today we have the two big logs to cut up. I'm looking forward to seeing what we can find inside. I haven't made any videos in a while because everything's been buried in a foot of snow since before Christmas. But now that it's mostly melted, we can get back to having some fun. This log is eight feet long. We have all these turkey tails on the end. We're going to start by cutting the ends off to clean them up. It looks like it's just a rotten log, but so did the last two, and they ended up being beautiful inside. All right, we have all the bark off. More importantly, we have the dirt off that was on the bark. We wanna make sure our log is clean because we have a brand new sharp blade on the mill. We have a brand new sharp blade on the mill because of the incident that happened in the last video. I still don't wanna talk about it. Instead, let's talk about this log. You can see there are a lot of different colors on the outside showing there's probably a lot of spalting on the inside. Well, let's open this up, see what it looks like. We wanna make sure our log stops are low enough so the saw doesn't hit them. That's a good idea. On the big end, we're at 14 and a half inches this way, 16 inches that way. We're 16 inches above the bed because it's sitting on a, uh, it's sitting on a thing. Well, you know the thing. The top end is 14 inches that way, 14 inches that way. We're only 14 inches above the bed rail. We're going to have to raise it an inch. See what our first cut looks like. Whew. 
here's our first cut doesn't that look nice the inside looks a lot like a reflection of what the outside looked like All right, let's cut some more slabs off of this thing. I'll cut the rest of these slabs up, then I'll bring you in, give you a closer look. That is some pretty wood right there. Okay, I'll bring you in and give you a closer look. See how these look. This one's just over 14 on the big end. And I haven't even put water on these to bring out the color. A little more spalting on this end. Just, just under a foot. These two pieces are about the same size as those last two. Look at that green and the colors. A lot of them have more spalting on the top ends. These ones have a lot of the pith in the middle. I'll have to see how they dry. They might warp and crack. I'll turn them over, that might be the better side. Well, this is what the other side looks like. That might be the better side. Again, more of the spalting is toward the top. Well, that's about all the time we have for today. I was hoping to get the big one cut up too, but it's gonna get dark soon. I don't think we have enough time. Hit the like button. 
subscribe to the channel so you know when the video for that one comes out you don't want to miss seeing what's going to be inside that i'm looking forward to seeing what we find in the middle of that one like subscribe if you have any idea what i should do with these big slabs put them in the comments i'm thinking tabletops something like that countertops see you on the next video